So if you're new to owning a travel trailer like we are, um, one of the first things that we encountered was uh, as soon as we hooked up this used trailer, we could not get the lights, the brake lights and the left uh, turn signal to work. Um, and uh, you know, we did everything you would normally do. Obviously you would uh, replace the bulbs and, um, and uh, if that doesn't work, um, I guess the next step would be to test uh, to see if the problem is uh, with the seven way connector on your vehicle. And I'm gonna show you how to test that. Um, I will point out what my problem was and uh, what solved it for us. But the first thing you should be doing is checking to make sure that your vehicles, uh, when you press on the brakes or uh, you uh, press on uh, or you activate the turn signals, that uh, the socket is working. And, uh, and before you test to make sure that when you plug it in, um, then you would go from there. Get a voltage meter and uh, that's going to be what you're going to need to kind of test to see what happens here. All right, so, um, so basically what you're going to need to do is, uh, well, first off, maybe turn on your hazard lights, which is um, what I'm about to go do right now. And then I'll show you what happens on the voltage meter. So. So now that we have the hazard lights on, if you have somebody here with you, you could always uh, also have them press on the brakes nonstop as well. But uh, basically, uh, right here, the diagram will show you uh, the positive is right here on the top right hand side and then the turns uh, or the lights themselves are the two middle ones right here. So we're gonna take the tester. Uh, first off, make sure you put it on the right setting. For mine, I just put it on uh, uh, the 1.5 volts. And now if you look at the power, you see it's going on and off, on and off, on and off. That's the, that's the hazard lights working. So I tested that side, that was the right side. And now I'm testing the left side and both of them are working just fine. So I know that the problem is not with uh, the seven way um, socket on the vehicles. Uh, and um, so then we're gonna go over to the travel trailer now. For me, this would be the next step of where you would be testing to see what could be wrong. Um, I decided to, I'm gonna show a diagram uh, right after I just explain what happened. Uh, but for us, the solution was in replacing this, this plug. Uh, you just go to O'Reilly's or any auto parts store and they should have the, the seven way plug. The one that we had on here um, must have just been sitting out in the rain a lot. It was really, it had a lot of calcium and just, it was just really, had a lot of buildup. And I guess it wasn't making a good enough contact, uh, which is why only our right turn um, signal was working and our left turn was not working. And um, a lot of the running lights were also not working on the trailer. So um, just, just look at it. We even got lubricant to try to um, uh, get it to work, but it wouldn't. So what I ended up doing is replacing this plug. So you, you just cut it. Uh, and uh, you, I will show the dot wiring um, diagram so that you guys can match up the colors. If there's any way that you could open up your uh, plug, that way you could see exactly where everything was wired. Um, again, make sure this will, this will be the very top of it. So make sure you follow the exact wiring so you don't make any mistakes or else, you know, right could be your left or left could be your right. You don't want to make any of those mistakes. But I will show a diagram. Um, hopefully that diagram will help. Obviously, uh, before I would recommend before uh, closing it up completely, uh, plug it into your car and make sure that um, the running lights and the brake lights and the right and left turn lights are all working properly. Um, and uh, again, I will show this diagram at the very end of the video. Uh, just match up your uh, the colors um, accordingly and uh, you should be good to go. Be sure to like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment with uh, uh, letting me know if this was useful or if you have any, any questions I'll, I'll pay attention and be sure to answer any questions that any of you may have had. Uh, once again I hope this was very helpful to many of you. Uh, good luck. Thank you.